Well, you know, there are more than just treats for squirrels. Acorns serve a major purpose in regrowing lost forests from things like urbanization or fires like the ones we had in Gatlinburg in 2016. Eric Francis shows us now how a project at Vanderbilt University is helping forest areas here in East Tennessee. James Moore is a tree enthusiast hired as Vanderbilt's landscape architect. Yeah, I, I love it. A gig with plenty of requirements. Acorn collector, not one of them. That was not first on my list. <laughs> but the reason behind the task surely is. Our campus is surrounded by an increasingly urbanized area and that's losing its tree canopy because of development. Nathan Hoover with the Tennessee Division of Forestry says urbanization, even farming, threatens our tree population, especially white oak. They're beneficial for a host of wildlife. They're a valuable timber species. And they produce plenty of acorns. While campus squirrels are storing their fair share. Thousands more are getting caught in nets on the Peabody College campus at Vanderbilt, where there are dozens of white oaks, some 100 years old. Those acorns are getting raked up and they're sent to our East Tennessee nursery in Delano, Tennessee. They're going to be reared, sorted, planted and grown and then become seedlings sold out to the rest of Tennessee and planted everywhere. Helping feed the forests of the future. We're going to get those trees we desperately need for the wildlife, for biodiversity when we're talking about flood zones for flood mitigation. And wildfires. Think of all the trees lost in Gatlinburg. We need to focus on restoration, management, conservation, protection, and then replanting oak back again. I think trees on a personal level are inspiring. These two hoping to inspire others to beat the squirrels, collect acorns, and plant a tree.